So first off, as it pertains to Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena, first comment right out of the gate, thinking of you, Amanda. Hope that you get better. Hope all is well. Amanda, hit with COVID. She's going to take some time out. Get her healthy. Turned out her whole house was, right? Her wife, their daughter. So keep all of them. Keep all of them. I would imagine if you had COVID, it'd be very helpful to have somebody looking after you. They're all doing it together, right? And nobody can really come in the house. It's one of those spots where, let's keep Amanda in our thoughts. They're going to move that fight completely to another card. Hunter Campbell came out. That was all that was said. That fight will be rebooked at a later date. I predict for you, even though it hasn't come out, I got to assume they're just going to move Pedro Munez and Jose Aldo up. Great news for Jose Aldo. I mean, not for nothing. But your career starts at the bottom. You work your way to the top of the card. That might even mean a world title. For him, it did. Then you work your way back down. You find yourself no longer in title fights, main events, co-main events. As soon as you come off of the main card, you are now one loss away from being out of the organization. That's just the life. That's all right. But that's the life. So Jose Aldo, who's one of the greats to have ever done it, to return to a co-main event. Okay, what a difference a day makes, right? 80% of success is just showing up. I want to talk to you guys about Pedro. Munoz, because I don't know if you guys know who this is. This guy's rough. This guy got on my radar in his last fight. He had Jimmy Rivera. But I've seen his last three fights. He's, he's a problem. And if you're not familiar with him, he is not built like Jose Aldo. For example, Pedro is, is longer. He's a leaner guy. He's a taller guy. But he fights very similar in that, just like Jose Aldo, black belt in jiu-jitsu, both of them, that would rather stand up and kickbox with you. I find, look, for my money, you want to stand up with Jose Aldo. If you can do that and win that game, you're good in my book. I got no problem with you. I always thought Max Holloway was a tough guy. When Max stood up with Jose Aldo, I knew Max was a super tough guy. When he beat Jose Aldo in the stand-up, oh my goodness. I might have looked at Max completely differently. Then Max went out there and did it again and stopped him. If you could play that stand-up game with, with Junior, Jose Aldo's fast. That's the other thing. And he's getting older. I can't imagine he's going to be as quick. But one thing that happened when he dropped from 145 to 135, just logically speaking, right, the smaller you get, the faster you get. He got faster. This was at like 37 years old. People don't get faster at 37. Well, unless you take off 10 pounds, then I suppose, well, okay, Jose did. And I always talk about that weight stuff, guys, but that's interesting to me. I'm into the John Jones experiment. I want to see how it goes. I imagine if Francis get beat and is no longer champion, boom, we're going to get John back. That's my guess. I'm just as into it for Stipe. Stipe saying he's going to put on 20 pounds. I want to know how, right? We saw what John was doing. He's going to put on 20 pounds. Figure it out later. Figure out how to look good later. That one I understand. I know enough about physiology, and I know enough about weight gaining that there's this build where you just put on size. That of all kinds, I'm talking about, you know, fat and ways that you don't want, you put it all on, but then you take some off. I understand to, to gain muscle, you got to also gain fat. That's what I understand. That's what John did. I get that. Stipe plans to just put on 20 pounds of muscle. And that son of a bitch is so disciplined and is so cloaked in success and everything else in his life. He's probably going to figure out how to do that too. That's interesting to me. At 39 years old, to be able to put on 20 pounds of muscle, I don't know that it's been done before. Not in six months, right? Not in a six-month period. To put on 20 pounds of muscle, clean, under the rules of USADA, which is how Stipe is going to do it, that'll be fascinating. And you'll meet people all the time, right? I'll get a video made somewhere out there. Derek will make a video and say, well, you know, you can put on 20 pounds of muscle. No, you can't, Derek. Not only you can't, neither can anybody else. And you've never, you don't know anyone that has. You do not know anybody who's put on 20 pounds of muscle in six months clean. You don't know anybody at 39 years old who put on 20 pounds of muscle clean any way, any way you want to do it. So I only bring that to you because I think those experiments are interesting. I want to see how those things play out. I think that Pedro Munoz in many ways represents the new Jose Aldo. Blasphemy, right? Blasphemy to say that about the great Jose. I think in many ways, Pedro represents the new Jose Aldo. And Pedro, I don't know that he's going to have speed. I know that he's going to have length. 
This might surprise you. You try to read a book by its cover, you're going to think all those more powerful. I think Pedro can match him there too. It's an interesting fight. I'm not even necessarily sure that I'm putting the curse on Jose by picking Pedro. I don't know that I am picking Pedro. I'm just sharing with you guys. It's a very interesting match. I think it should be a featured match from Jump Street. Opportunity has now created itself for that to slide into co-main status to get a little bit more attention on these guys for a week. I think those are two guys to give some real attention to.